Welcome. It's really not so scary. No, it didn't. It didn't seem scary at all. Let me try it again. Welcome. It's really not so scary. <laughs> that wasn't scary either. I, I can't do scary. Oh well. Welcome to my video dedicated to giving you all the tips and tricks you need to successfully navigate Mickey's not so scary Halloween party and I am very glad that you're here. So I'd like to first of all point out my holiday themed backdrop, my Sanderson, oh you can't even see it, fix the hair, my Sanderson sister Hocus Pocus 25th anniversary amok 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 spirit jersey and my carefully curated backdrop this stuff's all from target this i got on amazon can you believe the ivant candy with the mickey oh i didn't turn my light on hang on hang on hang on <gasps> light is on Ooh. i really should have had like something else like candle abra or something but i don't know this is this is just what you get this is halloween at jam the forge right here so what we're going to talk about today is the Halloween party at Disney World and I hear from you guys all the time and you tell me that you are very nervous about going for your first time because you don't know what to expect and you don't know what to do or, and this kind of comment breaks my heart, you tell me that you went to the party and you had a terrible experience because you really didn't know where to go or what to do or that it would be crowded and all those kinds of things. So my hope today is to give you some tips and tricks and then I'm gonna tell you exactly how I tour the party and then I'm gonna go do the party on the 17th of September and I'll come back and I'll let you know if my strategy worked. I think it will because this will be my fourth time going to the Halloween party and I have really developed a, a, a plan that I'm really happy with. This may not be the right schedule for you and your family, but I have attended multiple parties. I have developed a strategy that works for me and it is based on my priorities. So you may watch this and say, that's not at all what our family would do and that is so fine. I just want to give you some tips and tricks for the best way to enjoy the party, to avoid crowds, and to make sure that you see and do everything that you want to do because you're paying a lot of money for the party. So let's start there, okay? Your ticket is going to cost anywhere from $79 to $135 depending on when you are going. Obviously, it gets more expensive as you get closer to Halloween. Now, the good news is you do not need separate park admission in order to attend the party. So whether you're just a day guest or whether maybe you have park hoppers that don't start till the next day or you wanna save a day on admission, you don't have to blow an admission day on the day you go to the party. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is make sure that I am arriving either quite early or a little bit late. When you don't wanna arrive, is if you don't like the big crush of people, is between six and seven and here's why. There is a mass exodus from Magic Kingdom of everyone, the day guests that are leaving, and then you have a mass of people that are coming in, and I find it very congested. If, however, you come in like at four o'clock, it's gonna be really, really easy. Now, what I like to do is come in at four o'clock and then go ahead and eat dinner somewhere, because a lot of times we get so excited about the party that you forget that you really do need to eat dinner, and especially if you're gonna be eating candy and if you're gonna get special treats, I'm gonna wanna get some protein in me. So my favorite place, at Columbia Harbor House around five o'clock, sit upstairs, have my lighthouse sandwich, have my homemade chips, and just kind of enjoy sitting for a few minutes. Maybe I'm going over the map and getting ready for the evening. Please do not neglect the eating part. I hear this all the time. People think they can just grab something during the party. It is only five hours and it goes by like that. It is spooky how fast it goes. See what I did? I said it was spooky. It was a good joke, right? So you want to make sure that you get something in your stomach. This is especially true if you have children. Get those kids some dinner and do it before the party starts. I wouldn't want to waste precious party hours sitting in a restaurant. Once the party starts, 
I want to be out in the party. So my goal is always going to be that by seven o'clock, when all of the special entertainment starts, I am ready to fully engage in the party. I got some good food in my belly. Maybe I'm caffeinated. Maybe I have stopped at Starbucks and gotten myself a chai latte and I am ready to rock and roll. Okay. So that's kind of how I'm starting my evening. And I'm going to go over really quick with you guys what the show schedule is for this year. The first parade is at 9.15 and the second parade is at 11.15. Fireworks are at 10.15 and then the Hocus Pocus show is at 8.30, 10.45 and midnight. And then again, the dance parties are going on all night. Now, my priorities are, I want to ride a few rides. I want to see the Hocus Pocus show maybe twice because it is my absolute favorite show of any show at Walt Disney World. And I'll tell you why in just a second. I want to see the parade. And again, this is, I love the Christmas parade with all my heart. I might love this one more. Probably not. It's, it's a toss up, but I do love this parade. And I definitely want to see the fireworks. That's probably all I'm going to be able to get done. I hear from people all the time that they didn't really walk in with a plan and they're hoping to see all the characters, do all the trick or treating, see all the shows, see the parades, see the fireworks and ride rides. For me, that's not physically possible in five hours and I don't know why you would want to try. So I make some hard choices about what my priorities are. They do have amazing special characters and I will try to find somebody else's YouTube video. I don't really do the special characters because I don't want to waste two hours of my party time waiting in line to see a special character, if that makes sense. If that is important to you, have a strategy for that because I just don't do the long lines for characters really ever. Not in run Disney events, not in the parks. It's just not my thing. If I happen to run into a character, I am so happy to chat with them, but I'm not going to wait in line. Sorry, I digress. That was a bizarre rabbit trail I just went down. So where were we? I've had, I've gotten to the park around four. I rode some rides using my fast passes that I got in advance. I'm going to get my lighthouse sandwich. I'm going to have food in my belly. I'm going to have probably a diet Coke. I'm going to be caffeinated. And now I'm going to go do some more riding of rides and I'm maybe going to do some trick or treating if I happen upon some stops. It's not really a priority for me, but I love just walking around and taking in the atmosphere. And I think if you're rushing from thing to thing during the Halloween party, you really miss out on this because there's special music playing. There are special strolling entertainment options. There are um, the Dapper Dans do, I think it's called the Cadaver Dans and they do Halloween music and you know they do ghost riders in the sky and they're dressed up like ghosts and they do such a great job there's uh you can head over to haunted mansion and there's special photo opportunities there are so many little things going on that you really have to walk around and observe and just the atmosphere of the party right seeing everybody dressed up and everyone just is always makes such a big deal out of it and the enthusiasm oh i just absolutely love it so i'm gonna do that all the way up until, uh, let's see, the first parade is at 9.15. So I'm going to do all of that up until around 8.45, 9 o'clock, okay? At between 8.45 and 9, I am going to decide where I want to be during the first parade. I'm not going to see the first parade. I'm going to see the second parade because it is usually about 50% less crowded. The trick here is you need to decide which side of the park you want to be on because what you don't want to do is trying to be crossing the park during the parade. It is a nightmare. The cast members do the best job they can, but I literally stood uh, right by uh, the Rivers of America at a complete standstill for almost 30 minutes. I want to be spending my time better than that. So. Pick which side of the park you want to be on during the first parade if you're not planning on watching it. So that's my plan. I will either choose to be over in, you know, Frontierland, that area over there, or I will choose to be in Tomorrowland. Now, there are a lot of attractions you can ride during this time. There are dance parties going on. There is plenty to do. Just choose an area and stay there. Now, once the parade is over, I'm going to slowly, if I'm in Tomorrowland, make my way over to the bridge, or if I'm in Frontierland, I'm gonna go over to the bridge by Splash Mountain, and I'm gonna position myself to watch the fireworks. I give Tomorrowland a kind of a, 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 a advantage here because of its proximity to the hub, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. So I'm gonna watch the fireworks from the bridge between Tomorrowland and the hub, 
Oh, pretty fireworks. That was lovely. Am I going to miss some of the projection over there? Absolutely. Yes. But I am always going to choose less chaos and a little bit diminished view over the best view and a lot of chaos. So if you're like me, then this may be the plan for you. After I have been completely blown away by the fireworks, I'm going to make my way into the hub and I'm going to find a spot where I can both watch the Sanderson sister show and the second parade. Now, last year, both parties I attended, this was very easy to do because as soon as the fireworks were over, everybody left the hub. Not everybody, but a lot of people left the hub and there were a lot of available places to stand. So after the fireworks, people start to dissipate. I'm gonna make my way over. I'm gonna watch the Hocus Pocus show. Here's why this is one of my absolute favorite shows in all of Walt Disney World. <laughs> A huge fan of vocalists and just like in the Lion King show in Animal Kingdom the vocalists in this show are actually singing live they are not pre-recorded and Disney seems to pick their top tier vocalists for this particular show their performances always blow me away the show is a lot of fun I'm a huge Hocus Pocus fan Preferably, I'm gonna see this show twice. That's how much I love it, but you may not be that big of a fan. After the Sanderson Sisters show, as I said, I'm already positioned in a place where I'm in a good spot to watch the second parade. I actually, if possible, love to watch the second parade from right there in front of the castle because when the Headless Horseman goes by, that's just a great spot. But really, after that second show, you should be able to find a lot of different places on Main Street because again, by now, it's 11 o'clock. So it's definitely getting late. People are starting to run out of steam, especially the ones that didn't eat and didn't caffeinate. Mm -hmm. They end up going home early, but you're not. You're smart. You ate and you caffeinated, so you're going to be able to stay for the long haul. I am so proud of you. So Sanderson Sister Show is over, and at this point, uh, let's see, the, the second parade... Okay, so now the second parade is 11.15. I think the parade runs about 20 minutes long. So we're now almost done for the night. You do still have a few minutes left. This is a great time to ride one more ride, to just kind of soak up some more atmosphere. Uh, Main Street, they will not kick you out of the park till like 1 a.m. So you have plenty of time to, you know, soak it all in. Don't feel rushed out of the park in any way. Um, this is the perfect time to trick or treat. There will be no lines for trick or treat reading at this point. And although you didn't get to do it all, you got a nice quality evening where you got to do what was your priority and you didn't have that like crush of people. So there are a couple myths about this party that I want to dispel. Number one, people will tell you that it's very uncrowded because it's a private ticketed event. No, it is very crowded and I have been there on nights when it's been sold out and I have been there on nights when it was not sold out and both times during those like the first parade and during it's it there's going to be a lot of people okay so let that out of your head there is no walking on rides yes the wait times will be shorter if, if you're looking for no people or very very low crowds I would suggest one of the after hours events as opposed to one of the parties. The parties are going to be crowded. Like I don't know who is spreading this rumor that they're not, but they are going to be crowded. For me, I'm not going because it's low crowds. I'm going because I want to see the special shows and the parades, my Sanderson sisters, the special merchandise. Oh, by the way, the best place for the special merchandise in my experience and where they keep most of the annual pass holder stuff is in the, what's that store called? Right by Dumbo. Look at me, I'm doing the two finger thing. I think it's called Big Top Souvenirs. That is where most of the AP stuff is. That's where I found this. Things that will sell out at the shops on Main Street will frequently still be available back there. If you wanna get special pins, I got amazing pins last year. Um, that's the, the best place to find that. So that's another one of those things that you may wanna make a priority is some, some of the uh, special shopping. So that will be my evening. It will be wonderful, it will be fun, and I think if you walk in with appropriate expectations 
and a plan, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party can be one of the most enjoyable, fun, and spooktacular evenings you have ever spent at the Magic Kingdom. So I'm sure you have questions. Put those in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Oh, did you subscribe? Make sure you subscribe. Be good to each other. Bye-bye.